everyone, how is everybody doing today? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do two things. First, how to make a fake Windows error. Uh, if we if we uh, press no, it doesn't do anything. If we press yes, it doesn't really do anything. It's just there for uh, just there for show, I guess. <laughs> uh, but and then the next one is the matrix Ooh, on the command prompt. Ah, so many. So here we go. Yes. There we go. Just draw random numbers. Yeah, so. So yeah. So let's get to tutorial tutorial to that. All right, this is how to make the fake Windows error message. What you need to do is to go into Notepad and you type x equals msg box space then go the parentheses and type quotes. Yes, uh, yes, here, and then you go here, put comma, go, uh, uh, you usually go four plus sixteen, and comma, and then put two more parentheses and the title. Here. And then what you do is go here to File, Save As, save this to the desktop, all files, and save it. You can, I think, name it whatever you want. Um, but at the end, dot, uh, just put a dot VBS. So. And then there you go. So the uh, message goes here, which will be displayed right here, and then the title will be right here. And then the four plus sixteen is yes and no. If we take away one, save, and then we open. There we go. It will be just okay. So then, if we go change this to four, say we'll, we'll have a yes or no. So I usually do that, so it really doesn't matter what number. I think you can put like uh, any number you want in here. So each number is different. So all right, that is how you make the fake Windows error. Now, if you ex, you can change stuff while you're in the Notepad. But if you uh, exit out of Notepad, you cannot uh, open with anything. So so once you close that Notepad, you cannot change this. It's right here so yeah all right on to the matrix all right here is the matrix uh, how you make how you uh, make that what you go in do is to uh, go into notepad what you have to type in is at echo off enter color to enter the start start then enter let go then we type in percent random random 
percent. Then we copy this. C. Go to the end. Go to the as many times as you like. Go to, after as many times you like. Go at the end. Go to uh, go to SDA art. There we go. That's what it should look like. So what we go here is to save to the desktop of all files. Then we name it the matrix. Dot. All right. You can name it whatever you want, but uh, make sure you put this uh, dot bat. Dot bat at the end. Save it. There it is, and you open it, and there you have all of your uh, matrix numbers. <laughs> so, how this works here is uh, there's this uh, the color changes the color of the uh, of the numbers. Uh, so, if we go to uh, say three, save it. Open it now, it's all blue. So I usually keep it to two. Uh, that should be green. So, alright. So, what this is doing is there's start right here. That will echo all these random numbers. And then at the end of all this, Right here, it says go to start, so it goes right back to start. So it goes right here and repeats the whole process over. So it's like an infinite loop. So, so yeah. So once you close out of it, you, again, you can't really open it with anything unless you just play again. That. Uh, so there's that. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.